Am I the a-hole for returning my stepdaughter's birthday gift because she didn't save a cupcake for my daughter? I, female 33, am engaged to my fiancé, male 36. I have a 4-year-old daughter and he has a 16-year-old daughter. He comes from a conservative family so we won't move in together till after marriage. So far, we're on good terms as a blended family. But I noticed that my stepdaughter acts kind of distant towards my daughter. Every time I try to talk to my fiancé about it, he'd tell me to give the kids a chance to bond and warm up to each other. My stepdaughter's 16th birthday took place on Sunday. Since she's into baking, she decided to bake cupcakes instead of having an actual birthday cake. My daughter and I went over to my fiancé's house to attend a party, and I brought my stepdaughter a gift, which was an iPhone. We sat down as she started serving everyone cupcakes. Then when it was my daughter's turn, she bluntly said she was sorry, but she didn't save any for my daughter. I felt confused. I asked if she made enough cupcakes and whether there were guests that came uninvited. She said no, and that she just didn't make one for my daughter. I asked why, but she refused to say. I was so mad and felt hurt on my daughter's behalf. I got up and told my fiancé that I wanted to leave. My fiancé tried to stop me and offered his cupcake to my daughter, but I refused to take it. On the way out, I grabbed the gift I brought for my stepdaughter and she stood there and watched. I could hear her yell, Dad, she took the iPhone! while I was walking out with my daughter. My fiancé tried to get me to go back inside, but I refused. Later, he came over and we had an argument. He said that I overreacted, and that I know how some teenagers can be moody and do random stuff without an explanation, so I shouldn't have taken it personally. I said she excluded my daughter and didn't save her a cupcake, but he said it was just a cupcake, and then reminded me that he offered his cupcake, and said I should have accepted it and called it a day. He said taking the iPhone, which was supposed to be a gift, back was poor taste and it might hurt my relationship with his daughter. I refused to give it to him so he could give it to her since she was crying about it. He left and was mad at me. We haven't talked since then except via texts. Edit, she's been wanting the iPhone for a while and since her dad couldn't buy it, I decided it'd be nice if I gifted it to her. For those who are asking how a teenager could own an iPhone, I'm sorry if it's uncommon where you live, but where I live, iPhone are the most common phones. Also, I saw that she served her girlfriend a whole plate of cupcakes, so it's not like she baked a specific number. Now for the top comments. Not day whole, and don't marry this man. He will clearly expect you to cater to his child at the expense of your own. This is who he is. Believe him and react accordingly. Yep, a 16-year-old is acting like this because she's been allowed to. And with only a few years before adulthood, the odds of her growing out of it aren't in Opie's favor. You paid for an iPhone? Yeah, this really isn't about you being an a-hole in my opinion. It's not an overreaction when you feel like being disrespected and unappreciated. She left a four-year-old out on purpose? Play stupid games, kiddo. Win stupid prizes. Not day hole Not day hole but wake up. Why are you the one paying for the expensive gift? The iPhone should be a parent or a grandparent gift, not from you. Leaving was your only option at that point. It takes a special kind of ugly to want to exclude a four-year-old little kid from a birthday celebration. If stepdaughter can verbalize that she intentionally did not make a cupcake for your daughter, she's old enough to understand why you left. Edit. The more I think about this, the worse it gets. The stepdaughter being a jerk is one thing, but a fiancé's reaction is unforgivable. I also wouldn't be able to get over his whole family standing by and acting as if 18 bullying a preschooler is no big deal. This man and his whole family showed you who they are. Believe them. OP, you need to put major breaks on this relationship. Keep your finances separate. Consider it a blessing in disguise that you haven't moved in together yet. Oh, and I think you should give your daughter the phone. Let her use it to watch Disney+. Plus. If you're not ready to break up, you should pull way back on the money you spent on your boyfriend. Are you paying for trips and little luxuries? Try taking a break for a few months and see how he reacts. Open your eyes. Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my stepmom that if my relationship with my brother is weird, then hers with her son is even weirder? I-17 female cannot stand my dad's wife, Lou, 42 female. We've never gotten along, but she adores my brothers and, of course, her son, 13 male. She thinks I look like my mom who she hates. And I guess it's a contributing factor and means she's stuck looking at me when I'm at her place. But it's mostly because she likes validation of guys. And will bring any girl down if meant all the guys in her life would adore her. But I don't care because I don't bother her and she usually doesn't bother me unless we are arguing. 
Meet my older brother, Lyle, 25 male. Have an amazing relationship. We're the closest in age. And if I ever have an issue, I go to him and like siblings do, we chill out in each other's room. Lou hates this and likes to barge in whenever she can to cause issues and it causes arguments. But this one was the last straw. Me and Lyle were watching America's Got Talent auditions on YouTube and Lou came home from work. I heard her talking to my dad and he said I was here with Lyle. She immediately blew up and flew up the stairs and started screaming at me, telling me that she's sick to death of having to say that I'm not allowed boys in my room no matter if it's my brother. And this angered me so I asked what she was insinuating and she says, You're literally in love with Lyle. You're always hugging and hiding up here, you sick little hooker. So I stood up and started yelling back, getting in her face and said, Don't freaking sexualize me and my brother just because you're the weirdo who wants her son and stepsons to be in love with her. I left after that and my mom and her side of the family agree I acted fine. But my dad now won't talk to me and I feel full of guilt. Edit. Just to say guys, my brother, he called her the American version of Rosemary West. He can't stand her either. He has my back fully. And to my other brothers, one is in the military and is never home but doesn't know her and the other is just civil with her but is nice. And he is unaware of what happened. Not day whole. Stepmom sounds like those parents who find anything wrong just to complain. But info, why do you still go to your dad's house? It sounds like he doesn't defend you at all. You seem old enough to say in court that you don't want to live with your dad. Good question. Me and my dad have a good relationship and when me and Lou argue, unless I was the one who caused the drama, he had my back. But it is true, I could go to the courts. And with everything, it's definitely something I'm gonna do once I find out how I can get the wheels rolling. Not day whole. This is disgusting behavior from people that are supposed to be parental figures to you. And speak with your mom about staying there full time because you shouldn't live with those types of people. Yeah, definitely. I've told her and she was ready for a fight, but I told her it's not worth it. So she's just gonna help me go to court and say I want to change the agreement to 50-50 custody. It's the last straw in my eyes. And I'm not gonna let some elderly woman sexualize me. Gross. Not day whole. What the heck is going on with your dad? Why is he allowing her to behave this way towards you and your brother? Good on you for standing up for yourself. This right here. You have a dad problem more than stepmom problem. If your dad had your back, your stepmom would never have talked to you in such a disgusting way. If I were you, I'd ask mom if she could petition for full custody and limit contact with dad and stepmom given their horrific accusations. Next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my wife I don't want to name our child after her late husband? I'm 41 male, my wife is 38 female. She is pregnant with our first child together and he was a big surprise. She is due in November. She has a daughter from her first marriage, 18 female, and goes to college now. I have a nephew, 16 male, who has lived with me since he was a toddler and I consider him my kid. My wife and I got married 8 years ago. Her first husband died 15 years ago. We are finally making a short list of baby names for boys and my wife has her heart set on Thomas, her first husband's name. I don't want to name our child after a deceased person because I feel that is just so much baggage to put on a child. I don't want it as a first or even a middle name. I told her that I am fine with whatever name as long as he is named after someone, anyone. She likes other names too. Daniel, Chris, James, I like them all. I will love my son with any name. I just don't want to name him after her late first husband. We talked about it the other day and she told me all the reasons why she wants to name him Thomas. It will be her way of honoring him, of remembering him, it's a great name, etc. I think some of her reasons are super valid. I told her I really don't want our son to be named after her late husband. She said I am being insecure and jealous of a dead man. I said that is unfair to say. His picture is on the wall of our family pictures. We have visited his grave together sometimes. His parents still come over to visit my wife sometimes. She still has her wedding ring from their wedding, though she doesn't wear it and wears a necklace he bought her. I'm okay with all of it. She said I am being a petty a-hole for not even wanting to use it as a middle name. Am I an a-hole here? Now for the top comments. Not a hole I'm a widow. Your wife didn't finish grieving her husband. She married you before she finished putting her first husband behind her. She's still grieving and hasn't moved on. This is why his picture is up. This is why she still wants to visit the grave. She is finished grieving the loss. It is a terrible idea to name him after her late husband. Your child will grow up with the baggage of being named after the man that was in mom's life before dad. 
you. She doesn't want to name him after you, but after her late husband. That tells me that she isn't over her late husband and you are playing a second fiddle to a ghost. The child will eventually ask how he got his name. It seems to me that she wishes her late husband was the father of her soon-to-be son and not you. It seems like you are a standing for the late husband. She was 23 when her husband died. She still longs for the marriage that could have been, but it wasn't because of his early death. The name is her way of keeping her late husband alive. This is absolutely cruel to you as you are the by dad, not the late husband. You have been married to your wife for longer than she was married to her first husband. So when does she put the first husband on a past as a distant fond memory? He is not in the past if she is visiting his grave and visiting with his parents. When my husband passed, our son was a teen. I know a lot of widowed people. After my mom passed, my dad's childhood sweetheart, she was always first. He visited her grave, etc. He had girlfriends as companions because he needed a sidekick. One girlfriend was desperate to marry. When he finally said that's not happening, she left. He stopped dating because he couldn't put someone else first as a partner. You have a bigger problem than the name of your child. Not day whole. And considering his memories included already in your family life, I don't think there's any jealousy. Not naming your kid after a dead person is perfectly sensible. Not naming your child after a partner's former partner is sensible. Yeah, definitely not day whole. She doesn't need to honor him by naming the child with her new husband after the old one. She needs to let go. She needs to know that the other things she's already doing are ways of remembering him. But she also needs to remember that if it weren't for his passing and then meeting you, that this baby would have never happened. The deceased husband will have no emotional or sentimental connection to your new baby. He'll be nothing to the child. Sorry. It would be weird for her to push him onto the future upbringing of your child. She's maybe feeling guilty for moving on and starting another family. Whatever's going on in her head, the baby and you are in the now. All the best, Opie. And she's robbing her daughter of being able to name her future children after her own father. I think it's really sad that your stepdaughter is going to have his sibling who isn't related to her own father that your wife wants to have Carrie's name. Is the stepdaughter even on board with the name? Because I can see that souring her relationship with her mom if she's not. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for responding to my step and half-siblings the way I did? This is about me, 16 female, step-siblings, 15 male and 14 female, and half-sister, 7 female. So my dad died when I was 8. He and my mom were already separated at a time and she was already with her husband. I had never met him or his kids before, but his kids knew my mom. I struggled a lot with my dad being gone and having these new people thrust into my life with my mom's husband, then boyfriend, living with me and trying to parent me. I struggled with her telling me I had siblings now. Then three days after I lost my dad, she told me she was pregnant. She and her husband were only together a few months by then but she was pregnant. They were living together and then they decided to rush getting married so she could have his insurance. The whole thing was a lot. Early on, my step-siblings were really dismissive and mean about my dad. They'd tell me I was depressing everyone. They called me a baby because I wouldn't take off my dad's watch, which I have worn all the time since he died, for her wedding and the photos. Take into account she got married less than two months after he died. They would get mad when I would ask to have photos of my dad in the house. They told me he wasn't part of the family and that he'd be forgotten. I think my stepsister was copying her brother, but having both of them say mean stuff was a lot. I told my mom about it only after they told me their dad was adopting me. I got so upset. Mom told me she and her husband would take care of it. For a few years, it stopped. It started again about three years ago and it was because I wouldn't join them for a Father's Day thing at their dad's work. He took them and half-sister but I said no to going. They told me I should be treating him like a dad. They taunted me that I didn't have one if I wouldn't let him be my dad. The last few months, it's been worse and my half-sister joins in. They have said how they're glad my dad is dead and how I make everyone miserable so I don't deserve a dad. My stepbrother said my dad was dumb, that he was a freak and people like him didn't belong in the world. We got into a fight. My stepsister told me my dad's death was the best thing that would ever happen and I then yelled out that I would feel the same way when their dad died, that maybe I should throw a party and celebrate when it happens because they deserve it and I freaking hate them. My mom and her husband overheard so crap hit the fan. They got in trouble for what they had been saying. So did I. My mom's husband was extra angry at me though. He told me how ungrateful I was and how dare I speak like that to his kids, to hurt them like that, to wish that on them. And how dare I feel that way about him. 
When unlike his kids to my dad, he is actually my parents and my family, and that should not be comparing things at all. Am I the a hole? Not the a hole. The fact that he stood by while his kids said that to you? Unbelievable. It was only a matter of time before you blew up because of them. They should be so ashamed for being so insensitive. Just because your dad wasn't theirs does not give them the right nor audacity to tell you how to grieve a loving one. Your sister is slow for joining in, and they all need a reality check. He and I have had our own challenges. I know he's not super happy that I didn't want to be adopted by him and that I never started to call him dad or honor him for Father's Day. It really bothered him that I would still be happy to see photos of my dad in the house. Just lots of stuff. It's why I don't even say anything anymore about what they're doing. Mom can only do so much, but I think he kind of agrees with his kids. And should never divorce or convince him to do more. If anything, we'd all end up in therapy together, and we hate each other too much for that to ever do any good. It's such a mess. It's not your fault. He can't force you to like him or make you treat him like a dad. Especially when he acts the way he does. I hope for your sake things get better. Thanks. I think it will eventually, but probably not until I'm out of my mom's house.